Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to open the overlays in different ways. So if you want to use the overlay, you have to do the following in iRacing. You have to go to Options, Graphics, and then you have to tick out the full screen mode and also the border mode. If you do that, then you're gonna end up on a screen that looks like everything running in full screen right now, um, but in the uh, behind the scenes it's running in window mode. So the next thing we have to see is the application itself. So let's go into one overlay and let's see what we have. Uh, so each overlay page is consists of three main things. One is this uh, bar on top. There is a, a preview and then on the bottom there are some setting options that you can change. So today we're gonna cover the top part. So the first thing is it's called the browser URL that you can see each overlay have its own URL that you can then use if you are a streamer and you need to create a browser source in your in your OBS you just copy this URL or press the first button which essentially copies it to your clipboard and then you put it in in the OBS and then it will show there okay the next thing we should look at is the second button the second button is as it says it's it's opening an overlay uh, in an overlay mode so if I press the button what's going to happen is there's gonna be a transparent window opening on top of your iRacing uh, game window and this window is is a draggable window which means you can click on with your left mouse and you can you can hold and then you can just move your mouse and you can grab it around so this is how you're going to place the overlay into position so i opened it and i placed it if you place the overlay somewhere where you have a button behind then you won't be able to click it right so there is a solution for that the solution is that you have to lock the overlay there is a lock mode in the app let's go back to the app so there is a lock mode here as you can see it's a it's an icon with a with a, a lock basically and this is a global option so that means if you click on it it's gonna turn to green and if you look around each other overlays you can see that this is a, <clears throat> a globally changed option so whatever overlays you have it open and you click on the lock icon it's going to stay there so as you can see i cannot move it anymore i cannot grab it with my mouse it's it's locked into position but the benefit of it is that as you can see i can click on the button behind it generally that's what you want you want to place the overlays into uh, the location you like them and then lock it if i want to close this uh, there are two ways to close it one is to go to the taskbar and just simply close it or you unlock it and then you hover on the overlay right click and close so the last option that we haven't covered yet is this vr icon this is toggling the vr mode on and off and essentially what you have to do is you have to open the overlay in the overlay mode so with the second button it opens it for you and then you have to click on the uh, vr mode now first you have to open all the overlays you want and then you can click on the vr mode so if i click on this we're gonna see that uh, the the overlay changes a bit so this is all because the way vr works is if i were if I were to pick up my VR right now, I would see the overlay in it. I would also suggest you to lock the overlay because then again, you can click through the buttons and everything. And basically that's it. We have one more thing I would like you to show about what happens when you close the application. Right now we have overlays open in different positions. After I finish my race, finish playing with iRacing, I close the app. So everything got closed. 
Next time when I reopen the app, I don't need to do anything because it's going to reopen all the overlays that was previously opened. So all you need to do is to put it on the taskbar and go out and play.